what's going on everybody um, Nick here and I'm here on the Bahama 41 again and I am going to make a video on how to dock a big boat like this um, and I'm doing it because you know unlike small smaller center consoles that you can kind of just get near the dock and then push yourself off and kind of push yourself into position um, a bigger boat like this definitely takes more skill in being able to place it where you want it to go and yes you still can push it and everything um, but it's a, it's a lot harder, it's a lot heavier, you know, it weighs 20,000 pounds. And so you really need to be able to know what you're doing and to put it where you want it to go so you don't cause damage to you, um, your boat, anyone else, anyone else's boats, or any of that stuff. And just to kind of get the elephant in the room out of the way beforehand, joysticks, yes, they do make it easy. Um, however, in my opinion, if you're going to own a boat like this, you need to know how to handle it without the joystick. Because if something happens, you lose the joystick, you lose something, um, you're, you know, you're out of luck. You need to be able to know how to put it in there manually uh, and get the fundamentals down. And then once you do that, then you can use a joystick and kind of do whatever you want to do. Um, so first, um, we're going to go ahead and get on into it. Let me get in the canal near the dock and we'll I'll walk you through it. So the very first thing that you have to know above everything else is how the boat is going to respond to the inputs that you do. And in a docking situation, there's really there's two ways to steer the boat. You can use the steering wheel, or you can use the throttle and throttle it back and forth. Now, in my opinion, in a center console like this, when you're coming inside to, to a dock, it's easier just to use the wheel. Um, once the fundamentals are there and you know how to do it, it's very easy. Um, both work just as well. Um, but something to note is when you do turn with the wheel, your boat its pivot point is not at the motor. So if you're next to a dock, you know, the dock's on the port side of your boat and you turn hard to the starboard side, your bow is gonna go out. However, your stern is gonna swing around and hit the dock. Um, so you really have to be aware of where, you know, how the boat's gonna react and what it's gonna do, because then it can be a really expensive fix if not. And the same goes if you're throttling it. You know, if you put your port throttle in forward and your starboard throttle in reverse, your bow is gonna swing over to the starboard side. However, your stern is also gonna swing out, outboard on your port side. And again, if you're not careful, you're next to a dock, you're gonna bump into that dock. And now there are situations where that can kind of be used for you. Um, if you need to pivot your bow off a dock to get out of a tight parallel spot, whatever it might be, but that's something to take into account. So to kind of show you what I'm talking about here, I'm gonna put my port throttle in forward and my starboard throttle in reverse. And if you watch my vantage point, you can see my stern swinging around um, with respect to the houses back there, it's swinging around. And at the same time, my bow is coming around the forward side. I took a drone shot of this, so I'll put that up on the screen as well. And something to note about that as well is that when, if you just put your, you know, your port throttle and idle forward and your, um, your starboard throttle in reverse, you know, one click idle reverse, um, it's going to move forward while it's spinning around and that's because boat holes they're made to go forward through the water They're not made to go backwards through the water And so it's much easier on your port motors pushing forward than it is on your starboard motors pulling in reverse And so in order to kind of keep the boat in one spot You're gonna kind of have to play with the throttles a little bit give a little more, more gas to the uh, to the starboard um, Throttle in reverse and kind of play with it until you find that happy medium where your boat is staying in one spot but spinning on its axis. And every boat has a different pivot point. This one happens to be about right here on the seat back here. Um, that's a very personal thing. You just have to find out what works for you and your boat. Okay, so we are approaching the dock now. It's the one right there at the end of the canal. And you see I am just an idle speed. And as I said earlier, you do not want to go faster than you're willing to hit the dock. You're setting yourself up for failure at that point. And you can see I'm coming pretty straight on right now. I'm about to cut the throttles. I just cut the throttles, see no throttles, and I'm gonna turn us to port to get us closer to parallel to the dock. And coming out, you can see we're turning. And now once I'm here, I wanna turn him back to starboard to get us closer to the dock, the bow. And right before the bow hits, I'm gonna give it a, sh I'm gonna kick it in reverse to swing the bow out and bring the stern in. You see, and that brought us out a little bit too far. So I'm gonna give it, again, a shot of forward, turn it to port, and give it some forward gas, and that should bring us right in. And then one more shot of reverse should bring us right parallel. And you can see, as I said earlier, sometimes you just kinda of, kinda of play with the throttles a little bit. It's not gonna be perfect every time, 
But as long as you get there, that's what matters. And see, we're parallel to the dock, nice and smooth. Okay, so I wanted to get a couple different angles here to really show everyone what's going on. And so you can see here that I'm approaching the dock and starting my turn to the port, taking my boat more parallel to the dock. And as I get closer and where I want it, I turn to the starboard side and then start kicking it in reverse to stop my momentum of my bow going towards the dock and kind of swing my stern over. And you can see here I kind of stop because I have a gust of wind coming and I know that's going to blow me into the dock. You can see the wind coming across the water there. And so as I'm here, I'm kind of just going to nudge it in and out of forward and in reverse to kind of walk my boat sideways to the dock. And then once I get it pretty much all to the dock, I'm going to turn my motors hard to port and give it a shot of reverse just to stop my momentum. And again, a different angle. I'm coming towards the dock at a fairly sharp angle. I'm going to start to turn to the port side here to make that turn more, to, to, to make my angle more shallow. And I've just kicked it out of gear. You can see as I get to where I want to go, I'm going to turn to the starboard side, get my bow as close to the dock as I can, and then start to kick it in reverse. And that's to bring my stern over. And so you see, I just kicked it into reverse. It's going to slowly start bringing my stern over. And my bow is going to come out just a little bit. So I turn to my port side, kick it in reverse, which brings my bow back over and stops my stern momentum going towards the dock. And one more angle here, just to really drive in the instructions. I'm coming to the dock at a fairly sharp angle, and I'm going to start turning to the port side to make it a much shallower angle. So motors out of gear, turning, using my motors as a rudder, turning, turning, now turning my motors back to starboard to bring my bow into the dock as close as I can. And then once I get it close, I'm going to start kicking them into reverse to bring my stern over and keep my bow from hitting the dock. And you can see my stern is coming over, it has momentum. I turn hard to the port side, kick it in reverse. That stops my stern momentum and brings my bow back over. So now we're going to do this once more, but this time I'm just going to use the throttles. And this should actually be much easier for me to film because I can actually <laughs> only need one hand for this. I don't need to hit the throttles and the steering wheel. But so on this one, you know, put your starboard and forward, your port in neutral or reverse to turn to your port side and the opposite to go starboard. So this one, I personally like to come at the dock a little more at a straight on attitude. Um, you can see as we approach, my grandma's up there watching me, that's fantastic. <laughs> You see, we're approaching, we're approaching, we're approaching straight on. And as you get close, I want to kick my port throttle into reverse to swing the bow around. And as I mentioned earlier, the boat wants to go forward. And so it's going to keep going forward to the dock. So give it more and more reverse gas until you swing it around where you want it to go. I'm going to put both of them forward and just keep swinging the boat. Right now I'm in port reverse, starboard forward, and it's going to keep moving forward a little bit, but turning at the same time. And then if you want to slow down that turn, just put your port throttle in neutral. And then once you get close to the dock here, kick in reverse to kill forward momentum. My starboard is in neutral and my port's in reverse, and that should bring us right in. And once we're there, one last shot of reverse to kill all momentum. And we are perfectly parallel to the dock again. As you can see, it is a very easy process. So you can see that I'm approaching the dock at a fairly sharp angle here, as I mentioned in the previous clip. And here I'm starting to put my port motors in reverse to start swinging my bow out to the port side. And as I mentioned earlier, you can kind of play with your throttles by putting your port in reverse, starboard into forward, and vice versa to kind of keep the boat in one position and keep it turning. And so that's kind of what I'm doing here. It's kind of using, using the, the throttles to keep my bow as close to the dock as possible while still, you know, sliding my stern over. And you can see I'm just taking it very slowly. And you know, once I get to this point where I'm kind of parallel to the dock, I put my starboard motors in one shot or reverse to stop that momentum coming over. And it's going to keep me right here next to the dock. And so here's another angle approaching the dock. Coming up, I'm going to start to put my port motors into a reverse to start swinging the bow around to the port side. So I've done that. And you'll see here in a second, I'm moving too 
forward too much, so I take my starboard motors out of gear and I'm just using reverse on my port. And so this is pretty much going to stop all my forward momentum and start swinging my stern over to the dock. And as I was doing it, I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on where my bow is. And if it's getting too, uh, too close, I'll give it this little, little shot of forward on the starboard side. It's going to kind of keep it off the dock. And you can see here I didn't line up perfectly kissing the dock, but I'm still close enough where I'd be able to reach any lines. And so the final angle here still approaching at a fairly sharp angle and don't mind the drone the wind was blowing it around a little bit so it's a little bit shaky but i'm approaching the dock at the sharp angle i'm going to put my port throttle in reverse and start swinging that bow around so that bow is coming i just gave it a pretty sharp shot of reverse on the port side to stop my momentum because i was moving too fast and so you see here, I'm keeping my starboard and forward to get it closer to dock, closer to dock, port out of gear. And once I get it right here where I want it to be, I'm going to shoot that port into reverse. And what it's going to do, it's going to more severely turn my bow out and it's going to bring my stern in. Once I get it parallel, I'm going to kick that starboard side motor into reverse to stop my momentum. So something I failed to mention earlier is how to deal with the docking if you have high wind or current. Um, and we're back in a protected canal, and so none of those are really a, an issue to us. Um, but with wind, it's really straightforward. You know, if the wind is coming towards the dock, you just kind of want to make these maneuvers so you're going to situate your boat. Uh, when it's parallel to the dock, it's going to be a couple feet off of the dock. And that way, just let the wind do its job, and the wind should push you straight up into the dock. Now, if the wind is going um, away from the dock, that's when it gets a little more tricky. You have to use momentum to your advantage. You know, come in with a little bit of momentum, get the bow where it needs to be, and then quickly um, swing your stern over. It's not a hard process, it just takes some practice. If you have two people with you, a very easy way to do it is when you get your bow over, have them have a bow line ready, tied to the cleat on the bow, have them jump off the dock and tie it kind of as a spring line back midship, and then you can use that to pivot off of and swing your stern around. But that's a more complicated process, and if people want to hear that, I'll go ahead and make another video on how to do that. This is a simple how to get it to the dock and get it parallel. That's it.